Hi, uh, this is Gary Shermer, um, and uh, I've been an adjunct college instructor at the College of DuPage since 1993, 27 years, and uh, predominantly uh, teaching uh, courses in 2D art, painting, drawing, uh, and um, for quite a while, 15 years now as a life drawing teacher. Um, I received my uh, bachelor's degree from Northern Illinois University in 1979 and uh, worked uh, for 10 years in, um, in commercial photography and, um, and museum uh, development uh, and uh, fabrication at the, um, for three years actually at uh, the um, uh, Field Museum of Natural History. Um, in 1988, I decided to go back and get my master's degree. I attended uh, Southern Illinois University and got my degree in 91, started again at, and uh, then in, at COD in, in 93. Um, I've also worked at uh, Joliet Junior College for 16 years. And uh, I've worked in, uh, in, in photography uh, since getting my master's degree. And I've worked in uh, uh, quite a bit in, in film production. Um, I've worked for 20 years at uh, WTTW in Chicago as a scenic artist there. Um, and that's been really a great, uh, great experience. And I love PBS and, and I, uh, I highly recommend that uh, you, you, you tune in in the evening, unless you're under the age of six uh, when it's really great during the day too, I guess. But uh, at any rate, um, uh, in that, in that decade uh, between uh, undergraduate and um, graduate school, I lived in Wicker Park before Wicker Park was anything like it is now. And uh, I, I, I grew up in, in uh, DuPage County. Uh, I grew up in Lombard. And moving to the city was just really uh, an experience for me, and I was just really, uh, really taken by the, uh, by the landscape, and really began to paint in the 1980s, the mid 80s, um, with um, a, a lot of these uh, uh, urban facades. Um, I just really found them rich in texture and light, and uh, and grunge, and uh, and history. Um, and I just, I just, I just saw a tremendous, um, uh, substance in them and a tremendous challenge in terms of painting. These are rather large paintings for about four feet in the large dimension, uh, oil on canvas for the most part. Um, and, uh, and I, I also just found a metaphor in the, uh, in the subject, um, there was always there was always something I would be seeing and, and on my way to work on my bike or uh, or, or even driving uh, driving out to uh, uh, College of DuPage in the evening I would take some uh, uh, city streets to get off the expressway um, so I looked I, I I would see metaphor I would see you know just a beautiful uh, uh, formal uh, painting challenge in them. And I, in, 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 in terms of the metaphor, there was text often in the, uh, in the facade or in the, uh, in the landscape that also drew me. Um, this was a, a, a place I encountered in Cicero when I got off the expressway uh, and saw this uh, beautiful uh, uh, depression modern architecture with elegant packaging. It was a, a, an abandoned building at that point. And it was just so rich, I think, in history and in, uh, in, in elegance. Um, I assume it was probably at one time uh, a, a company that, that printed uh, uh, wrapping paper. Um, I've kind of gotten away from the, the facades since maybe the, the mid 90s, uh, but I did just paint this one a couple years ago for a plain air uh, exhibit that was in Lockport. And this was just a little oil on paper that I did um, that I really enjoyed. And I, 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 I kind of move around a little bit in terms of my subject matter. I like, to, uh, I like to just kind of be doing different things with different mediums. 
Um, I always enjoyed drawing the figure from my undergraduate years uh, at Northern, and uh, I've always uh, kind of kept up with the uh, drawing groups, and they're great uh, social venues, and um, it's just a great way to meet people that are, uh, are like-minded. Um, and I've just always found that the figure was um, just an instant uh, substance in terms of, uh, you know, challenge and, and, uh, and a vehicle for testing out mediums. Um, in graduate school, I started uh, working with primed paper and oil paint um, and, and subtracting and moving it around. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm essentially painting these really with a painting stick and then um, using my hands to move the paint around and then a rag uh, to, uh, to lift up areas. Um, and uh, that's, I've, I've just, I started that 30 years ago and I, it's, it's just a, a favorite way to draw. When I moved down to Carbondale in uh, 88, um, I kind of looked for an alternative to the human figure and I found it in, uh, in, in the bovine. Um, and this is not in Carbondale, um, obviously, but uh, in, in, in Colorado, uh, but uh, that was where it started. And uh, I found uh, the, the, the bovine, Vos domesticus, uh, as a, a really interesting, besides being a, a, a formal challenge, of just a very interesting metaphor um, in that it is parallels so much humanity. You know, there's just um, tremendous uh, potential for metaphor and for kind of manipulating the image. Um, this actually is a print. I'm also a printmaker, and uh, this is a, a, a collagraph, actually, um, a viscosity print. If um, you're a printmaker, you might know what that means. I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, this is a mixed media piece. Um, the Call of the Mild is the title. Uh, just for fun, and uh, it's uh, watercolor and pastel. Um, in, 19, in 2004, I moved from the city. I lived in Logan Square. Um, I believe it was seven or eight years at least, and uh, I moved out to the country, uh, out west of Aurora and the exurbs, and uh, when I moved out there, I just noticed that there was a lot more sky. And uh, I started, in, in fact, doing pastel at that point. I had never really worked with pastel, and I started doing some pastel landscapes. And uh, Fermilab, which we just saw, um, offered me a show in 2008, and I did a series of uh, pastel landscapes with these kind of incursions of technology in them. Um, and it was a great to, to kind of stretch my pastel um, uh, muscles a little bit and uh, and get get used to uh, you know, uh, uh, get used to the, the medium, and I really love the medium because it is so close to in in my view, uh, working with uh, oil paint. It's very much about layering color, and um, and it's just uh, I've I've just really uh, fallen into it and and enjoy it. I've also in the last ten years or so started doing work that was politically themed um, and also the uh, of the non-traditional rectangular format um, and uh, using rather disparate uh, subject matter uh, and kind of posing uh, a riddle perhaps or maybe not. Um, I think some of them actually are, are fairly logical in nature uh, or logical from my perspective anyway. Somehow I, they, they made sense to me when, they, when I came up with the idea. This is called Lunar Rover. Um, and make of that what you will. These are fairly large paintings as well. This is probably about 60 inches wide. Uh, I also make my own frames. I am a scenic artist and uh, so the frames really are very much a part of the piece. This is actually two separate canvases mounted in this piece. This is called Grand Old Polemic. Um, this is a, a fairly recent one, uh, Fountainhead. Um, and you can see that uh, you know, the frame again is pretty elaborate. Um, 
doing these political paintings as kind of a form of therapy for me. I get a little disgusted and frustrated about things in life and um, I need to take it out on Fox News because uh, it is what it is. Uh, this is called Three Conservative Commentators in a Box of Rocks. Uh, sometimes I like to just meditate and, uh, and do something that's non-representational and just um, uh, formally um, working with, uh, with the medium and texture and color and so on. Um, so I just started really working with watercolor about five years ago, and uh, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, and then this is uh, applying it to the bovine image. I'm still I'm still back to uh, to working with this subject. I just had uh, two shows this in the last year uh, with the uh, uh, Bos domesticus. Um, I've had a 20-year a, a relationship with the Wisconsin Humane Society, uh, painting, uh, commissioned to paint uh, dogs and cats and things uh, for people who have been very generous with the Humane Society, and they reproduce the paintings uh, in ceramic, uh, fired ceramic, and mount them on their buildings. Um, and it's been a great experience. These are 12 by 12 inch uh, oil on panel paintings, uh, and they make dog owners happy and cat owners as well and that's that's okay that works for me um, I've worked uh, again in uh, in museums uh, fabricating and, um, and designing and planning exhibits this was done for the uh, 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 Chicago History Museum formerly the Chicago His History Historical Society and uh, this is the inside of an L car that was part of a, a Chicago sports um, uh, exhibit. Uh, this is a, a replica, more or less, of the lunar lander that we did last year at the uh, Channel 11 uh, to commemorate the 50 year anniversary of the landing on the moon. Um, if you're familiar with the Channel 11, Jeffrey Bear has been doing uh, documentaries for uh, close to 20 years, I believe. Uh, and uh, they commissioned me to make this time machine, punk, Steve, steampunk time machine, uh, which was a heck of a lot of fun. And there it is outside my uh, studio or wood shop uh, out here in beautiful Yorkville. Uh, and I believe that's about it. And uh, I thank you for your attention and, um, and I thank the Cleve Carney Gallery for giving us an opportunity to, uh, to have a faculty show this year. And uh, everyone please uh, stay well and stay safe and have a great 2021.